Start recording. Stop recording. Button. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everyone's doing well and swell on this Thursday morning. Happy Thursday, everybody. So I'm here with my wonderful friend Haley. Not Haley Valenti, but my other wonderful friend Haley. Haley Terrell. How are you doing? Hey. Welcome back to my channel. So good to have you on my channel again. Thanks. Good to have you here. I really love doing videos with you, Thomas. Thank you. So do you want to, do you want to, since we have not done a video since uh, Thanksgiving that night, do you want to kind of just update people on how, how you've been doing and what's going on with you? Well, my mom still feels strange and we're still trying to figure out what is going on with her health and it's a shame that a lot of um, people do not want to really get to the bottom of what's going on um, I mean, insurance companies are ridiculous because they don't want to pay for my mom to get the treatment that she really needs because of her anxiety, and it's a it's a very fluctuating type of situation. You know, we don't know from one day to the next how her health is going to be. Right. She, I am not feeling very good, and she has a, an appointment next week. Uh, I'm at the Mayo Clinic to get her cyst on her kidney looked at, but the kidney thing is just a very small part of stuff. My mom and dad have been going through some family issues that I don't want to mention here because of privacy reasons, yeah. um, and that makes her really anxious too, but it is absolutely ridiculous that that things are just out of control. Yeah. And that my, I mean, I was telling Thomas the other day, my mom, I miss the mommy I remember. Yes, I still call my mom mommy. I don't care. She is very, very much like a porcelain figure, yeah. you know, because of her anxiety and stuff and her health. You can only drop a porcelain figure so many times before it shatters. Right. And it is heartbreaking Mm -hmm. that anything that I suggest to do for her, to help her, because those of you that know me in person will know that I have a very big heart, and I care so much, and I want to help people, and I want to give back, and I love my mother more than anything else in this world. YouTube community, YouTube viewers, my mother, just to give you a little bit of background, I was born very, very, very premature at 23 weeks and five days. Me and my twin sister were given less than a 5% chance to live. And my sister, unfortunately, went to heaven And uh, after 11 days. And I stayed in the hospital for five months. And for the first two years of my life, um, you know, I was on oxygen I was on a feeding tube. I had so many things happening that, unfortunately, you know, we had to go to special doctors and all that stuff. And um, my mom was very, very scared when she found out that because of the fact that I have retinopathy of prematurity, which means my retinas are detached, I would be blind. And it made my mother so fearful and so scared. And she wanted to help me, regardless of how my future was going to be. And she wanted to help me with homework. And that is the main reason why my mother went to the university that she went to and started to take Braille classes. Well... That changed her entire life forever. She originally was going to work at that university and be a human resources manager. Well, she got hooked. And she was given an employee discount because she already worked there. And wanting to help me with homework turned into my mother changing her entire career, even while working at that particular university for 17 years. Um, she became a, 
I'm not quite sure if it's the university for 17. I don't know. I don't know. But she did work there for a very long time. Yeah. But long story short, she became a vision teacher, an orientation and mobility instructor. A um, She's a supervisor for a special ed co-op. And she could <clears throat> realistically be an administrator. She could be the principal of a school. My mother... Any of you that know my mom in person will know that my mom is an amazing, amazing, amazing human being. And when I was little, I really didn't understand all the mental stuff that she was dealing with, but now I do. Yeah. And like I've said in a past video, it tears me up, and I really don't want to get into it, but it really tears me up because I cannot, sadly, do anything for my mother. Other than try to be a good nurse, try to be there for her as much as I possibly can. I wish my mother was the same mom that all children who are blind or disabled or whatever were lucky enough to have in this world. Because my mother truly is a saint. Mm -hmm. And it's such a small world because a lot of the people that my mom worked with way back in the day um um are a lot a lot of those people are uh friends that i have and um some of them uh have introduced me to other friends that some of my mother's uh former former uh vision teachers that she supervises mm -hmm. has um but it is very very hard when you feel like you're losing your mom yeah. and it's very very hard when you as her daughter cannot do a thing to help her yeah I mean, so yeah, because she... of the fact because of the fact that i woke up this morning feeling sick as a dog mm. Sadly, everything might be changing next week. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, guys, she remember, guys, she changed. She changed her whole career for Haley. Not just me, but for everybody else that yeah. she has been lucky enough to work with. Yeah. Megan Cheatham, Megan's vlogs and more. Shout out! Hi. That channel doesn't Ooh. exist anymore. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. It's okay. It's all right. And Meg she's not subscribed of, to me. Yeah, Meg is one of those people. And she has introduced me to so many wonderful people, including Haley. I remember, guys, when her and I, not Haley and I, but when Megan and I were dating for the first time last year, she I remember how excited she was to introduce me to Haley. She was so excited to introduce me to Haley. So... So, I, she has introduced me to so many wonderful people. Yes. Mm -hmm. hmm. She's... Hmm. She's an amazing... My mom is an amazing mom. Yeah. She has a heart as big as Texas. Mm-hmm. But I do want to give a shout out to uh, to Daniel. Big shout out to my Hi, good Daniel. buddy Daniel. You're awesome. We love you very much. Yes, you are, my dear. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, make sure you go and subscribe to his awesome channel. It's Daniel Summer Main Channel. Please yep, go yep, subscribe yep. to it. He deserves more subs, just like you do, Thomas. What did you say that? Him and I are underrated. Is that what you said? What? Yes, yes. You, you guys deserve way more subs than you have. <laughs> because right. you both are amazing. Thank you. But yeah, definitely subscribe to his channel, guys. His channel's um, awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, now, uh, do you want to tell everybody a little bit about what he does on his channel? You do. You tell. He does a lot of awesome tech stuff yep yep tech stuff he does screen recordings of jingles mm -hmm. um and him and Haley did a video about her trek 
Yeah, we did two videos. By the way, for any of you that have a track, I want to update you guys. Yeah, go ahead. We probably will be redoing that video. However... Oh, really? Uh, they... Human where people told me that when you receive a battery, you know, you charge it for five to six hours. Um, and then you, in order to calibrate it, you run it down to zero. And then you charge it back up overnight, every night, whether you've used it or not. And I had to get a brand new battery. And I feel like a total idiot because the reason that I had to get five, six, seven, eight batteries, I've had, a, I've been a Trek user since 2018, is because they have told me, Humanware, I mean, shout out Humanware, yeah. that you can charge a De Victor Reader device from a power strip if you so desire. However, this is the catch. The hmm. device, you, you can, the, the power strip can't be damaged. Mm -hmm. And so there is some sort of a strange connection between my power strip that I've had for years. Yeah. And it randomly saying, battery low, Victor powering off. And I will tell you this too. Another reason that I've been having that same random issue is also because I've been trying to solve this by swapping batteries on and off. Yeah. That's a no-no. So anybody that has a Victor Stream or a Victor Truck, if you have a power strip, you better make absolutely sure that it's not damaged. And just an because, FYI, if yeah. you, if, for to all of you wonderful people, <coughs> just an FYI, if you have, speaking of batteries, if you have a voice note Apex or a Braille note Apex, unfortunately, you cannot get a new battery for those two machines anymore. Two note takers yep. anymore. Unfortunately. Yep. And unfortunately, also, uh, hmm. the Braille note Apex and voice note are old and decrepit pieces of technology from humanware that hmm. are not a thing. They were anymore. very good in their time, though. They were very good in their time. And that is perfect, Thomas, because that leads into what we wanted to vent about. Yeah. So go ahead, Thomas. Spill the beans. What's well, going on? Well, well, well. On Tuesday... Tell some stories. On Tuesday, the unfortunately, the backspace key fell off of my note taker. And... Yeah. My vocational counselor, unfortunately, is refusing to get me a um, Braille Note Touch. Braille Note Touch Plus. Yeah. And, and the Braille Note Touch Plus is, it's got way more she features. She says that I have to have a job in order for her to get me one, which in my opinion is ridiculous. It is ridiculous, especially because a lot of these counselors, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> do not understand unless they happen to have disabilities themselves why it is that we as blind people need these devices because they don't use them i have two tracks one from my mom that she gave me for christmas and also one that um the state people got me my um counselor Bureau of Blind Services counselor got me. Yeah. Um, because I thought, spur of the moment, I am so tired of sending this back because I kept trying to clean it. And really, since I don't know what I'm doing, you really shouldn't. You really shouldn't be tampering with liquid and stuff on a device like that if you don't know what's going on. And the face got all scratched up, and I thought, you know what? I'm not even going to tell my mom about this. I'm just going to have my counselor get me a brand new one. And because of the fact that she happens to have disabilities, and I explained, I mean, I really sold my case. <clears throat> and I explained to her why it is that I needed X, Y, Z. And she even emailed me back and she said, if you were to become an assistive technology salesperson, you sure, that would be great for you because you sure sold me. Oh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> Go on. And it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. So I'm trying to help him come up with a letter for his vocational counselor about why it's important that he needs this. Yeah. It's absolutely insane. 
Yep. And and Daniel's space bar fell off of his uh, real note apex, but luckily he was able to put it put the key space back or space bar key back on. Luckily. Right, but the thing about that is really that's only a temporary fix because of the fact that when you have something like that happening, you really need to send it back to humanware. Right. Um, because. They can't just replace keys. Just like they can't replace keys on the track or the stream. You have to get the entire keyboard replaced. Now, right, right. leading into that, mm -hmm. going off of that, yeah. you cannot send the Apex back to humanware no, at all. No, you can't. They are not taking repairs. They are not accepting repairs. They are not accepting tech support questions nope unfortunately guys because it is an outdated device yeah you guys i've had my apex my i've had my voice note apex you guys since march of 2011. yes and it's been good for its time share content yeah, but it's it's frustrating that my vocational counselor will not get me a um, a um, touch. Yeah. So you need, especially because you don't have a computer. Hmm. Nope. You don't have. This is your only device, and these people are too much involved with their rules and their regulations. And it's all about money, mm -hmm. right? Yes, it is all about money. Because they're not wanting to pay for it. Right. It's insane. Mm. People like me and Thomas need these things. And it's it's, it's really ridiculous that they don't want to... They don't want to do mm. what they... Mm. Now, if this happens to you guys, if you have a voice note apex or a braille note apex and one of your keys falls off, you might not want to mess with it and put it back on. Cause, no. Or try to put it back Be on because you, you might mess up the machine. Because you're not a human or a technician and you're not... Hmm. It's a it's only a temporary fix, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So it's, it's frustrating, you guys, when you need something and, you know, you can't get it. Same sort of thing with my mom, which is ridiculous because they, she really needs to go to a psychiatric facility and stay there so that they can observe her hmm. and insurance won't pay. Hmm. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just curious. I wonder how much the, the Brill Note Plus cost, I wonder. It depends on if you get the 18 cell or 32 cell. Gotcha. 3000 to $5,000. Oh, wow. You know, and that's the thing. A lot of our devices, ladies and gentlemen, are not cheap. No, they are not. Because they're not mainstream. Right. You know, there are... I mean, visual impairment is such a spectrum. And the people that need these devices, it's a shame that we can't get them. Because mm -hmm. it it's nuts. <clears throat> It's nuts. I mean, these devices are so expensive, and it's not what these people don't get. What I feel a lot of these people don't get is that this is not the type of thing that you can just go out to the store and buy. Right, you can't. And you also, and you also cannot hmm. go out and buy, let's say, a computer. With JAWS, for example, what's more mainstream, guys, is probably the Mac. I mean, anybody can go to an Apple store and get that. Yeah, anybody can get that. But you can't, you can't go to a, I don't know, a Best Buy or something and say, hey, Hi. I want a brown, I want a brown note plus, or not a brown note plus. Brown note touch plus. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't do that. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so guys, that's what my vocational counselor said. She said that she can't get me a Braille... I can't, I don't know, I keep wanting to say Braille, Braille Note. Braille Note Touch Plus until he gets a job. Now, yeah, which is, you don't want again, to to which school, is ridiculous. And that's fine. A lot of employers will not hire unless you have a job. Hmm. Or, you know, unless you have a college degree. And there's that's not the case for everybody. But... There's a lot of ways to earn income. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ways to, this is this is also a matter of she's going by the book mm -hmm. and she is not, she's not, it's not like, mm -hmm. it's not, I'm not saying at all that he does not want to, that her, his counselor does not want to, um, mm -hmm does not want to help him but these people are they 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 they're very very much abiding by their rules right. and they don't it almost seems as if they don't take individual circumstances into account at all whatsoever which is nuts right and in my opinion and this is just my opinion in my opinion it's ridiculous that she will not get me this device unless i have a job in my opinion because, that's ridiculous yes because you don't have a braille display you don't have anything like that your so, device you use that device for what it's ridiculous what uh, do you use that device for my my note taker Yes. Uh, writing stories, uh, journaling, writing things down. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. And? And you can't really do much, guys, without a backspace key. Yeah, and you can't do much with the Apex, because especially with the touch, anybody has got a touch. Well, no, it's been rewritten from the ground up. Now you can you can send e you can send emails with it, but that application is very out of date. He can do so much more. We all can do so much more with a Braille Note Touch Plus. It is not just a note taker, guys. It is the world's first certified Google Braille tablet. Because of that, you've got all the benefits of an Android tablet with the conveniency of. And the more accessible um, platform of Keysoft, which has been rewritten from the ground up yeah. for a more modernized user experience. I mean, the the voice note, they haven't updated the software, I think, since May of 2015. Yep, and why is that? Because it is an outdated device, Thomas. Mm -hmm. And I even suggested to Thomas that he and his dad really need to hmm. take... Um, they need to take. They need to talk to like the Lions Club or something like that because he cannot be without a note taker. He just nope. can't. Nope. I was tempted to throw the key away. <laughs> uh, I mean, guys, I didn't even try to put it back on. Mm-hmm. It's probably safe because you're not a human or person. They will not apply. They will not give you tech assistance. Hmm. Because nope. it's an outdated device. No. Nope. They no longer support it. <clears throat> nope. Now, guys, in 2012, I think it was in December of 2012. The dot five, the dot five key came right off. It came off, and I, I had to send the machine back to Humanware, and they had to replace the whole keyboard. Yes, that was then. That was when it was an updated. That was that was when it was a current, more modern piece of technology. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, so it's just uh, a very frustrating situation, you guys. 
And if you guys have any ideas for him, I would say definitely leave them down in the comments. Yeah, feel free to do Because that. this is... Is it okay if I swear? Of course. This is bullshit. Yep. It is. It's not good when you're not getting services what you need. or yep. something you, you know, a device that you need. Please leave them. Yes. Because he is, he needs help. Yeah, if you guys have any ideas about. What other ideas he can try. Yeah. Let me know. Yep. And uh, it was definitely uh, great having you on the channel. And Thanks. I hope you can, I hope we can do it. Uh, another video i hope we can do a video again soon and, we can too and once have again have a good holiday guys merry christmas happy holidays and once again please make sure you pl pl um, feel free to subscribe to our good friend daniel's channel once yep, yep, again yep. it's daniel sumro main channel please subscribe to my channel doing everything, doing everything blind. blind please and thank you yep and have uh, a good day guys y'all take care